what is up guys? Fran Gessel here at the Franimal and today I'm going to be showing you the most rugged flat bench for benching you've ever seen. It's completely homemade. I built it so let's jump right into it. So this here is the homemade flat bench. Let me tell you this thing is a tank. I've done some crazy weight put some massive loads on this and it holds it just fine. So let's take a walk through and talk about all the various components that make up this bench. So let's start from the bottom. We have uh, four by four. So it's basically all four by fours. We have almost like a, a T design. So we have, I believe it's about a 12 inch four by four, uh, about 12 16 inch 4x4 four four. and then we have another one that spans across the length of the bench and we have that same design there on that side and what's connecting these 4x4s four are these steel ties I, I got these from Home Depot I believe they're just uh, it's a it's, it's a pretty thin steel but it really does uh, really tighten that joint up there so we have you can see that so th that really just you know tightens the joint up we have them on each side and we also have them on here so what this part that you lie on is made of is a piece of three quarter inch plywood and obviously it's a little bit more than that uh, it has some one inch foam board insulation on top of that plywood to kind of give it some, some cushion in it's a, it's a firm cushion in it. This, this foam board isn't soft. It's, it's pretty, pretty, uh, firm. Let's just say And on top of that, it's got this, uh, see how it kind of has that bumpy texture. It has this like, uh, stuff you use to, to put on like furniture so it doesn't slide on the floor. I just found it around lying around in my barn so I threw it on there. And this black thing uh, on top of it is this like Vinley wrap, I believe. I got it from Walmart. It was like five bucks for uh, a square yard. So it was, it was pretty cheap, but it's held on. Just flip this over. It's all staples. So right there, you can see it's stapled up nice and good. You can see a little bit of that plywood there as well. Get the steel tie holding that there. So while it's lying down, let's let's look at the bottom of it. So we have what is connecting the four by four there to the other one is uh, another four by four. So yeah, we have that connecting there and we have a four by six that kind of gives that middle part some support there. I'm just gonna flip this over. So when I initially made it, I actually didn't have all that in that piece there. I just had the uh, the piece there and the piece there, but I figured it really wasn't that hard to kind of put this support there and that four by six there. And it really does uh, strengthen a lot because you're adding that. Uh, if it were to fail anywhere on the bench, it would probably be right in the middle because that's where that 4x4 four four is the weakest. And that's the last thing I wanted which was uh, to be benching some heavy weight on that and have the, the bench break and have a 4x4 four four be impaled in my chest. That would be pretty bad. So I just put that there for some uh, extra safety. Although I, I didn't really think it would break before, but... You know, I, I don't want to die on this thing because <laughs> then no one would ever want to make their homemade gym equipment. If someone, you know, was, was killed on it. So, yeah, it's pretty dark. But anyways, so that is the bench. Uh, this whole thing probably cost me, I would say, $25 to make. The the 4x4s four are pretty cheap. It's really just, you know, uh, getting that material there and, it, it was it was pretty cheap overall, but yeah, here we have it.
So the whole point I want to make with this video is that if you don't have a gym and that's your reason why you don't work out, that is not legit. That is not a valid reason to not work out and get in shape. I don't have a gym. I didn't have a gym around my area just because my town is so small and so isolated. So guess what I did? I brought the gym to me and I built one and that, that's exactly what you can do as well. So if you have a friend that always complains about not being able to work out because they don't have a gym, I want you to share this video with them and it will just blow their mind because it will show you what you are capable of and what you can achieve if you actually think critically about the situation and try to apply your knowledge and resolve it. That's what I did. I didn't have a gym. I built one. It's working great and you can do the same as well. So if you made it to the end of this video, give it a thumbs up uh, and consider subscribing to the channel if you guys want to see more in-depth videos about each piece of equipment, I can certainly make that. So in the meantime, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.